sum to infinity. Imagine you have a geometric progression. So the condition that makes it possible to find the sum till infinite terms is when you have a geometric series such that the terms are decreasing. As in, we call these series as convergent series. If my first term is A, my second term is AR, AR square. Convergent as in, I am multiplying by a value less than 1. This value of R here is less than 1. Okay? Because understand one thing, if you have the ratio, the multiplier less than 1, then every time the terms will decrease. It will continue to decrease its value. So, the general way we find the sum for a geometric series is we multiply A and when the value of R is less than 1, then we always do one thing that's 1 minus R raised to the power of N divided by 1 minus R. Now, note one thing, because you are raising the power to a number less than 1. So, if you'll try in your calculator 0.25 I'm taking a number less than 1 and you raise it to the power of 100 or raise it to the power of 1000. The terms will simply approach 0 or it just becomes so small that it is almost negligible. So what happens then? In that case, if you want to find the sum of infinite terms, we'll be raising the power of infinity. So because as I told you, the number that you're raising upon is a very small value, less than 1. So no matter what power you raise, more higher power you raise, more smaller or more closer it comes to 0. So when you plug in the power infinite or power of infinity, the storm simply becomes zero, giving you the formula so simple for sum of infinite term, which is simply equal to 1 minus 0 is 1, so a upon 1 minus r. This is how you find the sum of infinite terms and remember, this is not applicable for arithmetic series or even geometric series where the terms are increasing. We find infinite term series or we find the sum of infinite terms only for convergent series or the series where the value of R is less than 1.